Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching jQuery tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn how to add elements inside existing elements. And guys, all the code that we'll write in this video, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. And the tutorial notes will be there on my website dyclassroom.com. I will put the links in the video description, so please check that out. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click that bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Alright guys, let's get started. Okay, so I have opened the project folder in Sublime Text and inside the project folder, I have created a new file add-element-inside.html which is this one. And inside the JS folder, I have created a new file add-element-inside.js which is this one. And I've included this JS file inside this HTML file by writing the script tag. And I've also included jQuery, which is also inside the JS folder. And now we'll save this file and we'll open it in Chrome. So we'll open our project folder and then we'll open this HTML file. And we'll also open the dev tools. So we'll go to view developer and we'll select the dev tools. And we'll switch to the console tab. And since it is empty, that means we don't have any error. The first method that we'll discuss is the text method. And we use the text method to add a text inside an element. And we also use the text method to get the value of the text of an element. So our first topic is text method. So inside our HTML file, let us go ahead and create a paragraph having ID, let's say sample dash p1. So if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we don't get any output. But if we look inside the elements tab, we'll see that the paragraph is added inside the body of this HTML page. Now let us go ahead and add hello world text inside this paragraph having ID sample dash p1. So we'll open the JS file and we'll first target the paragraph using ID. So we'll write dollar round brackets and within double quotes hash sample dash p1. And then we'll call the text method. And since we want to set the text as hello world, so we'll pass hello world inside the double quotes. And now if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload we get hello world and this hello world text is inside the paragraph having id sample dash p1. We also use the text method to get the text inside an element. So in this example, we have hello world text inside the paragraph having id sample dash p1. So let's say we want to get that text. So this is get the text using text method and this was set the text using text method so to get the text inside the paragraph having id sample dash p1 we'll first target that paragraph using the id and then we'll call the text method and this will return the text inside this paragraph, which we can save in a variable, let's say var p. And then we can console log the value saved inside this variable p. So we can write console.log and p. And now if we save the file, go back to Chrome, and if we switch to console tab, and let me clear the console, and now if we reload, we get hello world, which is the text inside the paragraph having ID sample dash P1. The next topic is the HTML method. And we use the HTML method to add HTML element inside an existing element. So let us go ahead and comment this code. And inside our HTML file, let us also come in this paragraph.
and now we'll save the file go back to chrome and reload we don't get any output all right now let us create a div having id sample dash div1 so we have a div having id sample dash div1 and now inside this div we'll add a paragraph having text hello world so we are adding a html element inside an existing html element so let me first show you what will happen if we use the text method so we will first target that div having id sample dash div1 and we want to add the paragraph so let's say in a variable var html we have the paragraph element having text hello world and if we use the text method and pass the html that is this string so this text method will treat this string as a string and will not convert this string into an html element so if we save the file go back to chrome and reload we get the string which is inside the div having id sample dash div1 and this is a text not a html element so if we want to get the html element we have to call the html method so if we go back to our code and let us comment this line and now we'll target that div and this time we'll call the html method and we'll pass the html so if we use the html method then this string will be converted into an html element so we'll get a paragraph and inside that paragraph we'll get the hello world text so now if we save the file go back to chrome and reload we get hello world and if we inspect this we can see in the elements tab the hello world text is inside the paragraph tag which is inside the div having id sample dash div1 so if we want to add html elements inside an existing element then we use the html method and if we want to add text inside an element then we use the text method the next topic that we'll discuss is the append method and we use the append method to add an element at the end inside an existing element so let us go ahead and comment this code and now inside our html file let's say inside this div having id sample dash div1 let's say we have three paragraphs para1 para2 and para3 and now let's say we want to add a fourth paragraph para4 inside this div having id sample dash div1 and we want to add this fourth paragraph after para3 so in order to achieve that we will use the append method so inside our js file our next topic is append method so in order to add the fourth paragraph inside that div we'll first target the div using the id sample dash div1 and we'll call the append method and we'll pass the paragraph having text para4 so this append method we'll add this paragraph inside this div having id sample dash div1 
and we'll add that paragraph at the end that is after this paragraph 3. So if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we get para1, para2, para3 and para4. And this fourth paragraph is added after the third para. Another way of adding this fourth paragraph inside the div having id sample dash div1 is by using the append to method. And the append to method is similar to the append method and it only differs in the way we write the code. So if we comment this line and if we save the file and go back to Chrome and reload, we have three paragraphs. And now we'll append the fourth paragraph using the append to method. So the append to method is similar to the append method. So append to method. So for the append to, we'll first pass the element that we want to append. In this case, it is para4. And then we'll call the append to method. And then we'll pass the element inside which we want to append this element paragraph 4. And that element has the ID sample dash div1. So if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we get the fourth paragraph after the third. So both the append method and the append to method will achieve the same result. The only difference is in the append method, we first target the element and then we append the element that we want to insert or add at the end of the targeted element. And if we use the append to method, then we first write the element that we want to append and then we append that element to the targeted element using the id. So in this case, we are appending this para4 inside a div having id sample dash div1. Our next topic is prepend method. So let us go ahead and comment this line. And our next topic is prepend. And we use the prepend method to add an element at the beginning inside an existing element. So since we have commented out this line, so if we save the file, go back to Chrome, and if we reload, this fourth paragraph will be gone. So if we reload, the fourth para is gone. And now let's say we want to add the fourth paragraph or prepend the fourth paragraph before para1. So in that case, we'll call the prepend method. So inside our JS file, we'll first target that div having id sample dash div1. And then we'll call the prepend method. And then we'll pass the element that is in this case, we are adding the paragraph having text para4. So when we call this prepend method, this paragraph will be added before this para1 inside this div having id sample dash div1. So if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we get para4, then we get para1, 2, 3. We can prepend an element and achieve the same result by using the prepend to method. So let us go ahead and comment this line. And if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, the fourth paragraph is gone. And now let us go ahead and prepend the fourth paragraph using the prepend to method. So our next topic is prepend to method. So when we are using the prepend to method, we first write the element that we want to prepend. In this case, it is a paragraph having text para4. Then we call the prepend 
to method and then we target the element inside which we want to prepend and in this case we want to target a div having id sample dash div1 so we'll write hash sample dash div1 so this line of code will prepend a paragraph having text para4 inside a div having id sample dash div1 so if we save the file go back to chrome and reload we again get the fourth paragraph before paragraph 1 so we have para4 then para1 2 3 so we can use both the prepend method and the prepend2 method to prepend an element inside an existing element and the only difference that we can see is the way we write this code so if we are using the prepend method we first target the element and then we prepend the element that we want to insert inside the targeted element and if we are using the prepend2 method then we first write the element and then using the prepend2 method we prepend that element inside the targeted element all right guys this brings us to the end of this tutorial in the next video we'll learn how to add elements outside an existing element and guys all the notes will be there on my website dyclassroom.com and the code that we are writing in this tutorial series i'll put them in my github repository you will find all the important links in the youtube video description so please check that out and guys if you find my videos interesting then please like my videos and guys please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click that bell icon so that you will be notified whenever i upload a new video all right guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video and like always stay happy and keep smiling bye